Hello, hello, Cancers and the Collective. Welcome back to everybody, all of you all who are subscribed members, um, for the ones who have um, participated on the channel, listened to the readings, all of you, however you ended up here, that makes you part of the collective here at Queen Cancer Tarot. And I want to tell you that I love all of you all from the bottom of my heart. I am going to share this um, or extend this uh, message to just you guys um, as they extended. So you're going to get a little bit of an additional um, I'm going to give you a little bit of additional oracle um, reading here for each. I'm going to do cancer versus all 12, but I'm also going to include the oracle for you. And I'm going to, we're going to look at two different oracle decks here. Okay. We're going to look at the hidden truth oracle. And I want to look at the love oracle. Um, Um, I have some love oracle cards that I want to use if I can locate them. Oh, here we go. Nope, that's not it. Sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. Figure out where I put stuff at, guys. There's so many decks. Where are you? Okay. All right. Beach time. This is my beach time soul oracle deck. Okay. Those of you who want to go to the beach. <laughs> and we have the Hidden Truth Oracle. Okay. The Hidden Truth and the Beach Time Soul Oracle deck. Okay. We're going to be looking at both decks. And we are looking at what, um, what you can't see coming with your person. Okay. So, and then we will also look at the tarot. Okay. So. Everybody get your hats on. We're going to start off with uh, water signs here. These will be time stamped at 3 minutes and 11 seconds for cancer, dealing with another cancer. Okay, so what is it that you can't see coming? So let's start off with the beach time soul oracle here. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer, please. Let's go ahead and... Uh, like the incense, you guys. I know what I'm thinking. Please make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you are not already. Please go and subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Also, subscribe to the new channel, Tarot Talk Live. That is a new channel that I have created on YouTube. Very, very new. Um, but there is a lot of content already that I feel like you guys will be very, very interested in. Some very different tarot readings there. This channel is really focused on Cancerians and love, you know, but we talk about all different kinds of topics over there on Tarot Talk Live. Some that I just, I feel like it's not what my audience here on Queen Cancer Tarot would uh, necessarily be interested in every day, but there's a lot of conspiracy theory type subject material over there. Celebrity stuff goes on over there, you guys. We talk about, you know, all kinds of topics, narcissism, dreams, um, karmics, twin flames, knowing the difference between a twin flame 
soul tie and a twin flame karmic. Um, all types of topics we, we will be discussing on that channel. So go check it out. If you go look at the first episode, it pretty much tells you what that channel is going to be about. So Cancer is dealing with another Cancer. We have karmic relationship while we're talking about karmics here in the reverse. So this talks about fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. And this is in the reverse here. So I feel like there's an energy of some of you are having a hard time um, letting go of a situation that may, even though this is something that triggers you, um, you know, and it's it's it causes a lot of resentment for you. I feel like a lot of you have even learned uh, a lesson, okay, behind being with this particular person, but there's an energy of having a hard time walking away. Under the deck here, we have the snake. Okay, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder and the other woman. Um, I feel like this person, there's an energy of you are involved in a connection um, with another cancer that, you know, is very, got you very in a very addictive state. Um, this person may do things that, you know, hurt you, but you find yourself staying with this person anyways. Okay, this person may have you in third party, uh, a third party connection. Okay, and they may be living like an open relationship, and you know, for whatever reason, it's like you're accepting it or dealing with it. It's a very toxic energy here. Um, tell me about cancer dealing with another cancer, please. So we have, we will be together again. Under the deck, I left when I saw you with someone. See, there's an energy of, you know, you literally know that this person is dealing with someone else, but there's an energy of you still have plans on staying around. It's a very toxic energy. It's like someone that has you like in the, this Energy where you just can't choose what's best for you. You keep going back to this devil energy here. I don't know why I'm calling it the devil, but it's, you know, the snake here. Okay. Something that has you very oppressed here. Let's look at the tarot. Let's see what we got going on. We're going to pull two cards and then we will look underneath the deck. Another cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer doing it with another cancer. What does cancer not see coming with this person? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer. So we have the five of pentacles. See, this is someone who's afraid of being alone. And we have the moon in the reverse. Water energy. So um, definitely, uh, mm, there's an energy of a lot of confusion Okay, um, and even though there's, there's a lot of confusion, this, this talks about clarity. This talks about someone knowing that there's something deceptive going on, but for lack of terms, better terms, it's like an energy of this person is desperate or they feel an energy of, you know, they don't want to lose this person or they don't want to be alone, even if this person is hurting them, even if this person is being deceptive. There's an energy of staying in a toxic connection. Look, hanged man, I'm telling you right now. My Syrian energy again. Strong water energy here. There's a strong energy. This person has this attitude that they, you know, are not going to leave no matter what, even if this person is hurting them. So some of you are staying in a situation out of fear of losing something, but this is something that, you know, is keeping you waiting, you know, you're sacrificing yourself in order to be with this person. Tell me about the five of pentacles, please. The chariot, it's like you're staying, even though you know you need to go, you know that it's best for you to 
you know, go in a different direction. Just pack your bags, get in your car and drive away. Um, but with the Knight of Wands, this is, you know, you're being stubborn. You are being stubborn is an energy of, you know, hoping for the best, even though this person continues to show you that, you know, they want no part of this commitment that you're looking for, four of cups. This person is, you know, completely not looking for what you're looking for. Tell me about uh, the moon in the reverse, please. Oh, spirit, angels. And we have the queen of pentacles here. You may have children with this person. That may be an energy of why you're staying. It's like you, you don't really know what's going to happen. There's an energy of, you know, wanting to try to fix things with this person, okay? wanting to try to overcome. It's like you're staying with this person even though you know better. Under the deck, Queen of Cups, you really, really love this person. You're staying with this person. You're trying to work it out. Stay for the best, you know, stay for the kids, stay for, you know, the relationship and the home. But you know that this is um, not the wise decision for you. Tell me about Hangman. Tell me about Hangman. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're going to get tired of waiting. This person is going to leave you hanging. Underneath the deck with the Nine of Cups, you are going to get tired of waiting. This is not going to be enough for you. With the Hermit, I feel like you are really going to start taking a close look at yourself, Cancers, <clears throat> and realizing that you can do better. Moving on to Scorpio at 1151. All right. Tell us about Cancer is dealing with the Scorpio, please. Holy Spirit, and Jason. Okay. Ooh, coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. So, someone, uh, if you're dealing with the Scorpio, I feel like there is an energy of you may you may be going through a change in the connection. There's something that you know, you are ending when it comes to this person. It, the relationship may coming may be coming to an end, or you may just be changing and going in a different direction here. Under the deck, hand of cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing your hand, and gambling. So there's an energy of, <clears throat> you know, you're thinking about doing something different. You're You're changing, but there's an energy of also, um, wanting to take your, seek out your options without telling this person, I feel like you're, you know, you may even, there may be some of you who may start to talk to other people. Okay. I feel like you have options. Like there's an energy of, you know, having options, but before you end it, there's an energy of trying out your options before you end it. So maybe you or the Scorpio, I don't know if it's your your person, but there's an energy of somebody who is thinking about ending things, wanting to end, but they're like wanting to try out their options or test the waters before they go. Tell me about Cancer and Scorpio, please. So many things remind me of you and under the deck, we both know I am not the one for you. So listen, this is a person who is just used to you or there's an energy of they know they want something different, but they want to hold on to you as long as they can. You know, it's just not a very, very committed energy, not a very committed energy, not a good thing or situation to be in. And there's a need to want to just cut the cord here. OK, um, cut the cord. So if somebody wants to go. They need to go and they need to move about it quickly. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. Tell me about cancer and Scorpio, please. What does cancer is coming to you with this person? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about. Okay, okay. So we have the devil. <laughs> 
<sighs> Capricorn energy, but we have the devil here. This is a seduction with the three of wands. So definitely an energy of someone who is, um, you know, was seeing other people. There's an energy of someone who was seeing you, seeing someone else. Okay, this person knew that they were not committed, but there's an energy of this person was doing what they wanted to do. They had their cup. They wanted to eat it too. Um, but with that three of wands, this also talks about somebody who was leaving anyways. So there's an the energy of this person was leaving, but they wanted to seduce whoever they wanted to seduce or see who, who they could be sleeping with, okay, before they just let you go all the way. They wanted to keep their options open with you. They wanted to still be able to have their way in. Underneath the deck, Empress, okay? This is you. This is also someone wanting a lot of love or someone, you know, having a lot or abundance of something. Okay, so I feel like this person, again, uh, with that full energy shining through, they were, you know, on their way off to something new, but they wanted to keep you on the side. They wanted to keep hold on to their abundance while they were sowing their royal oats here, so to speak. Okay, so let's just see. I'll do this really quickly here. Tell me about the devil and the three of wands. Double and the three of wands. And we have the queen of swords. There was an, an energy of you knew, or there was an intuition that you, you know, that this person was doing this. It's like you knew this person was, you know, you couldn't trust this person. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. This is you moving towards pre-empress. We have the empress on the board, and now we have pre-empress energy here with the Queen of Swords. So you're, you know, you're going into an energy of very intuitive, knowing that you're going to end up single or you're going to be single. We both know I am not the one for you. Hand of cards, take a chance, risk being strategic, not showing your hand and gambling. So you know you're on your way out the door. You know, this person was, you know, not being genuine and, you know, you're not going to show them your hand. Tell me about the Empress and the Fool. Huh? Look, Ace of Wands, like you are moving on about your business. You're just as passionate about what you want as the next person. With the Two of Swords, you are very easily cutting this person out. With the Ace of Swords, you have the truth. And this is good enough for you. Two plus three. I mean, two plus one is three. Three swords here. You are definitely having no problems cutting this person out because you're realizing you're better off on your own. You have the intuition. This person is going to be in this devil energy. They're always going to have, you know, their eye on that next best thing. And you're ready to let them go on about it. Okay, moving on to Pisces at 1818. 18. 1818 18 for Pisces. All right. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. What does Cancer not see coming towards them with this Pisces? What can Cancer not see coming? Uh oh. We got coffee cup in the reverse. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship in the reverse. So there's someone who is, you know, I feel like there's an energy of maybe people are talking behind your back. Um, there's someone who you think is a friend who is not a friend here. I, again, I'm just feeling like there's someone who is like, they're saying something, but what they're saying is not completely honest. Someone is gossiping with the intention of hurting. Under the deck, kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. With separation. So somebody may be causing some sort of a separation. Okay, sorry about that, Cancers um, and the collective. I'm back. Um, kisses and separation. I feel like there's an energy of someone may come in telling you something something 
um, tell you that they saw your person kissing someone else? Okay, so someone is going to come in with a conversation with kisses and separation, or this may be an energy of someone may be, you may be um, saying goodbye to someone or breaking up with someone. There's an energy of cutting ties. Someone is cutting ties. Tell me about cancer dealing with the Pisces. So we have, I bury myself in work to forget you. And under the deck, I want to be more than friends. I feel like there's an energy of somebody who wants to be more. Um, um, and now that the relationship is over, I feel like this person is, you know, going through a very difficult time. So there was a separation here. There was a separation with Coffee Cup. I feel like there's an energy of this person. You are not speaking to this person um, or you're not able to connect or this person's not answering phone calls. All right. And with I want to be more than friends, this person is reaching out, but you're not answering back. So if you're dealing with the Pisces, I feel like you're not speaking. They're, you're in separation, but with kisses here, this person is wanting to reach out to you. So somebody's having a hard time. Tell me about cancer and Pisces, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about cancer. So we have 10 of swords and the ace of wands here difficulty and passion. So yes, there was an ending or there was someone that broke up with their person and, you know, there's a lot of passion that they feel or they're feeling very, um, they're really wanting to be with this person or they're wanting to do something with this person. Okay. They could also be thinking about this person and, you know, feeling like they really miss this person in a passionate way, if you know what I'm saying. They're just having a hard time being without this person. Three of swords under the deck with the five of swords. See, somebody is having a very difficult time. But with the five of swords, I feel like this was a separation that had to do with multiple people. Someone came in and caused some sort of conflict. And I feel like caused a separation here. I do feel like someone told you something. Um, Ten of Swords is also, you know, communication, but there was a breakup after this. Okay, so if you're dealing with the Pisces, somebody came and caused some sort of a breakup here. Let's see. Tell me about the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands. This could be someone came and caused a fight. And look, Eight of Cups, you ended up walking away um, from someone that you cared about or from a relationship here under the deck page of cups yeah somebody is feeling bad or somebody is missing you or wanting to reach out to you three of swords plus the five of swords you are blocking this person or this person is being blocked someone is wanting to reach out but the other person is not speaking okay tell me about the three and the five of swords here essentially the eight of swords under the deck. And we have the seven of pentacles, but this person is, um, you know, they feel as though there's too much in this connection or you've been through a lot with this person or they're not willing to just go away easily here. Yeah, the hanged man under the deck. This person is not willing to just go away. Okay. They want to be more than friends. They bury themselves and work to forget you. This person is not going away. So if you're dealing with the Pisces, there was something, someone came and told you something. It caused a separation, but this person is, you know, I feel like this was not true or this person is wanting to come back towards you, okay? But you're not speaking to them. Moving on to Gemini at 2453. I 
was interesting, Pisces. That was a lot. Tell me about Cancer's dealing with a Gemini. What do you not see coming towards this person or towards you? When it comes to this person, we have both. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. This is the Six of Swords. <clears throat> this is someone who's leaving or someone who's learned a lesson and now it's time to move on. Someone who is progressing, they're going on to something that better serves them or they're arriving. Okay, this is someone who is now at a good place in life. They've been through a lot. And now this person is wised up and they find find themselves in a new place. Okay, so both under the deck, we have cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So yeah, so there's an energy of um, finding closure. Like you're, you're learning that whatever it was you thought about this Gemini, it's not serving you. You know what I'm saying? You've learned your lesson and you are now moving on or accepting whatever lesson it was that you had to learn. And then um, I don't know what's going on there. That was weird. Let's see, hold on just a second. Okay, Gemini, please. Tell me about cancer and Gemini. I feel like you're having a hard time. You keep thinking. Yeah, just think, just being near you is intoxicating. I feel like this person, the more you're around this Gemini, it's like very difficult for you to get away from this person. They pull you in, okay? you know you want to move away from this person um, because it's toxic. Under the deck, I hope that you can forgive me one day. So I feel like there's an energy of you're just going to have to just move on. You're just going to leave this person. I feel like it's going to be an all of a sudden thing because every time you're around them, you find yourself going back. So it talks about closure issues right here. It says closure issues. So I feel like you know you're having a hard time and there's going to be an energy you're just going to have to go. So tell me about Cancer and Pisces, please. What is going on with Cancer and Pisces? Okay. Well, these two just jumped out. And we have Death Card in the reverse. What did I tell you? Wow. And you have the king of pentacles in the reverse. This is, listen, a relationship that is not working out. Um, the death card in the reverse, this is an energy of somebody who's holding on to something or a toxic situation that is not working for them. Okay. Um, this is a relationship where this person is very greedy or they're very exploitive. It's all about them. You know what I'm saying? But for whatever reason, you're having a hard time, but you know that this is a situation that is not good for you. Under the deck, we have the page of pentacles. This talks about someone who just wants to be chosen, okay? They just want their person to choose them. There's an energy of just wanting your person to do the right thing or to just choose you instead of always choosing themselves. Okay, see, Queen of Cups. This is the impact, the person who loves. You love this person. So that's why it's so hard for you. And look, the Six of Swords. This is why it's hard for you to move on and walk away. Um, but there's an energy at some point you can't heal everything and everybody. Okay. You can't fix everything and everyone is not just going to do the right thing. So sometimes you just have to go, cut ties and go. Tell me about the death card in the reverse and the king of pentacles in the reverse. Death card in the reverse and the king of pentacles in the reverse. We have the seven of swords and the page of swords. 
Interesting. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy as well. Um, but this is someone who, it's like an energy of someone with that seven of swords. There's someone who's deceptive, okay, or someone that you can't trust, or there's an energy of doing something on your own and not telling people. You know what I mean? Not showing your hand. Um, that page of swords is an energy of someone who is curious. They're asking a lot of questions. They're, you know, wanting to know what's going on because there's a bit of you being elusive. So I do feel like this person is very toxic. They are very controlling, very possessive, and um, they can sense when you're pulling away. So I do feel like there's an energy just being near you is intoxicating so yeah, you're trying to move away from this person in silence with that boat here. I hope you can forgive me one day. Yeah, you're trying to get away. You're going to leave and then call this person later. You know what I'm saying? Um, tell me about the page of pentacles and the queen of cups. The empress. Yep, Cancerian energy. That's you. You are very loving. There's an energy of, you know, maybe... You feel like these people may count on you, okay? But there's an energy of these people are hurting you, okay? Under the deck, four of swords. You just need peace. You need time to be off to yourself. Maybe you can call these people later. But there's an energy of needing to create some distance, okay? So that you can gain some clarity. See, three of cups. You know, you can conversate with these people later or from, from a distance here. Um, but I do see you walking away um, and then you might come back and have a conversation at a later time. All right. So moving on to Libra at 3217. Cancers. A Libra, we have a Libra, please. What does Cancer not see? Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Under the deck, girl with the snake. So, literally, empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enable, and boundaries. So literally girl with the snake here. So there's an energy of there is a feminine um, that is holding a snake. So and seduction, I feel like there is some feminine energy that may be coming in trying to hook up with your person. Mm -hmm. Yep, there is definitely and the golden mirror you have self absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship and love bombing so i feel like you may be dealing and this talks about the empath and the narcissist so there's an energy of a lot of you may be empaths who are in a relationship with a narcissist and i feel like with seduction and it talks about third-party interference or hooking up I feel like this person feels as though they're entitled or enabled to be in third party connections here. Okay, very self absorbed here with the golden mirror. There's an energy of they see when they look in the mirror, there's an energy of they don't see what everybody else sees. Do you see what I'm saying? Everything that they do is golden. They don't feel as though they're wrong. So this person, there's an energy of they feel like they can do what they want to do. Tell me about Cancer and Libra. Wow. So all these cards wanted to come out, but we're going to take this one. Tell me about Cancer and Libra. Okay. Five of Wands, competition, and you have the Page of Swords, the Challenger. Look at this, competition and the Challenger. Right off the top here. This is definitely an energy of somebody who is sitting back and watching. I feel like this person is in third party connections and these people know about you. Um, but I feel like there's not always an energy of you knowing about them. 
Um, but this person keeps you in competition with others. See, seven of swords under the deck. This talks about deception, opposition, somebody who is lying, keeping secrets. And the, with the chariot here, I feel like there's an energy of you are determined to move away from this energy here. So you are going to be moving in a different direction and you are going to find out. So let's clarify. Tell me about this five of wands here and the page of swords. And we have the six of swords. You are going to be moving on. This talks about you learning your lesson. <clears throat> this talks about you walking away, moving away from troubled waters, going towards calmer waters. Under the deck, the death card. See what I'm saying? You are walking away from this. You are transitioning, letting go of this narcissist and you know what I'm saying and doing what's best for you. Tell me about the seven of swords and the chariot. You are tired of dealing with liars. With the knight of cups, this person is, you know, they just like to flirt with multiple people here. Under the deck, ten of swords, you are done. See what I'm saying? You are ending it. There's an energy of you are walking away from, you know, this flirty energy, this person who's non-committal. You're done. You are moving on. Okay, so let's move on as well to Aquarius at 34, 48. No, 36, 48. I can't see. That was only four minutes, you guys. Wow. Are you sure? I feel like the time is off. Okay. Um, wow, that was quick. Tell me about cancers dealing with an Aquarius. Cannot be right. Tell me about cancer and Aquarius. That can't be right. Love call. Someone expresses love. A message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So somebody is going to be calling somebody, okay? I don't know if you're going to be drunk calling somebody, but somebody's going to be calling you and letting you know what they think about you. Hammer underneath the deck. Uh-oh. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. So this is somebody who is going to be basically calling you multiple times. This to somebody that maybe you broke up with or you know you walked away from this person may have sabotaged the connection and now they're calling trying to work on things um but there's an energy of somebody reaching out to their person okay and multiple times tell me about cancer and aquarius and we have i am grateful for the spiritual lesson underneath the deck i can't stop thinking about you yeah Yep. So I feel like there's an energy of you are grateful just being away from this person. You feel like you may have learned a spiritual lesson um, or spirit may have protected you. And with I can't stop thinking about you and Hammer, I feel like this person just will not leave it alone. So there is a bit of a stalker. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm getting stalker here. But let's see. Tell me about Cancer and Aquarius, please. Okay, ten of, ten of, whoa, 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 whoa. That was a lot. That was too much. But I'll take the two cards that were up. I'll put everything else back in the deck. So we have the Ten of Wands and the Four of Cups here. Stress and reevaluation. So listen, somebody is really stressing you out, wanting they're and they're trying to reevaluate things. They want to work it out, they want to talk, you're not accepting their cup or not right now, or you don't want to be bothered. So I feel like there's an energy of that. It's become overbearing. Six of swords, I told you, you have moved away from this person. And with the three of cups, this person wants to take you out for coffee. They want to go out. They want to talk about things. They want to fix it. And you just want to get away. Okay. Oh my gosh. Tell me about the Ten of Wands and the Four of Cups, please. This person is being a stopper. They're being overbearing. Ten of Cups. 
This person wants to try to work things out. This person is in love and they are willing to do anything to show you. But unfortunately, with the Knight of Swords under the deck, this is, person is coming in too quickly or there's an energy of, you know, things are completely different now. This is the game changer card here. The game has completely changed and I feel like it's not that anymore for you, but this person just won't let up. Tell me about the Six of Swords and the Three of Cups. And we have the Nine of Wands. See, this person is being very persistent. They are not letting go. They won't let up. They will not go away. Under the deck, the Six of Pentacles. I saw this before. This, this is one-sided. This is all one person feeling one way. The other person completely feels a completely different way. With the Page of Wands, this person just would rather just leave. They don't want to have anything to do with fixing it. They don't want to work it out. <laughs> okay. So let's move on to Taurus at 4124. Taurus. Okay, let's see. Cancer. Hold on just a minute, please. Dealing with a Taurus, Cancers and Taurus. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancers dealing with a Taurus. What do you not see coming? Not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries, still angry. So somebody is going to reach out to their person. And I feel like they're going to, you know, quickly find out that this person does not want to hear from them. Um, you know, they're still upset. You guys were in an argument, okay, Cancers, if you were with the Taurus or someone with Taurus in their chart, you know, this person still has their boundaries up, okay? Under the deck, love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So this is somebody that, you know, you are in a very close relationship with, and I think it's going to be shocking and really hurtful when you find out this person is, you know, still upset and does not want to make up with you. All right. Tell me about cancer and Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancer. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So this is somebody who's having a hard time dealing with the fact that they even had to be shut out from their person in the first place. Okay. Um, this person is going through a hard time and they want to let this person know, I wish I could share my good news with you. You know, I am not available. Listen, this person is not available. They are not wanting, you know, to talk to you right now, maybe later, but at this time, this person is, you know, the closed sign is still up, okay, for this Taurus. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, or for you when it comes to this Taurus. All right. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancers and dealing with the Taurus. I feel, oh, I feel like you're on the other end of it. I feel like you don't know that this person is still very upset with you. Mm hmm I have the Ace of Cups and the King of Cups. See, this is somebody coming in, offering love, wanting to have a fresh start. They want to start over with this person, but this person is very disconnected. They may love you, but they're at a distance right now. They don't want to be contacted. They don't want to be talked to. They're just not feeling it. Under the deck, King of Wands and the Queen of Swords. See, this is an energy of someone who sees... Um, they're, they're looking at the bigger picture here. And with the Queen of Swords, this person, I feel like this person knows that they'll be back or this person is at some point going to have a conversation with you. But right now, this person is too upset. I feel like if they do say something, they know that it's not going to be good. So this person is like, you know, we, we can talk in a few days, but right now it's just not, not a good time. 
tell me about the Ace of Cups and the King of Cups, please. <laughs> tell me about the Ace of Cups and the King of Cups, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. And we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. See, this person, it's like this person is reconciling, but there's someone who's still kind of stuck on whatever happened in the past. They're still hurt. They don't want to get over it right now, and they don't want to talk right now. Eight of Pentacles, this person is working on themselves, or they just want to be alone, or they want to, you know, deal with things on their own, and then they'll come back to the table later. But they need time. They need time. Tell me about this King of Wands and the Queen of Swords. It's like this person is knowing that if they say something to you now, it's not going to be good. Okay. And you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is an energy of someone who's rushing in. And I feel like this person knows that they, they come in with the conversation now is going to be a whole lot of not good things that they have to say. King of Pentacles under the deck. You may have children with this person. This person may live with you. Um, but there's an energy of things. <clears throat> it's this person is moving too quick or they need to give you some space here. Okay. All right. Moving on to Virgo 4636. Cancers dealing with a Virgo. Holy Spirit, angels, and guys, tell me about Cancer and Virgo. What does Cancer not see coming towards them? So we have mirror. So this might be your twin flame, mirroring each other. Self image relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. So I feel like there's a twin flame that you're dealing with. Okay. Or you and this person may be mirroring each other right now. Okay. Sharing some of the same um, energies, heartbroken under the deck, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. So this is a twin flame connection that I feel like is maybe a karmic or that may be an energy where right now you, you know, have recently disconnected or broken up with this person. I feel like this is an on and off twin flame. This is an energy of someone you've been with for a long time. And um, I feel like, you know, there's an energy of, you know, when you're with this person, you know, it's like you both are like the same. Okay. And I feel like there, you feel very hurt when you're without this person. You may argue and fight when you're with this person, okay, reflecting our wounds. I feel like this person triggers you, but when, as soon as this person is gone, you're heartbroken and you're like disgusting, sad, and you can't eat and don't want to talk to anybody. You're moping around. And I feel like it's the same way for the both of you, okay? Tell me about Cancer and Virgo, please. Oh, I love you unconditionally. And I, I wish I had treated you better. So listen, this is definitely an energy of someone who, you know, they did something or they said something and they know that they said something wrong, but they love you. And look, I love you under the deck. Listen, this person does love you. Okay. This Virgo knows that they did something wrong. They said something wrong but they're coming back. They are coming back and this person does love you and they didn't mean whatever it was that they said. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancer and Virgo. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancer and Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancer and Virgo. So we have the Hermit for Virgo energy and the Queen of Wands. Look at that. Someone who's very confident, but there's an energy of someone who is um, really looking at what they did, looking at something that they did and they're feeling or they're wanting to um, 
revisit. There's an energy of somebody who's taking a step back or they're taking a close look at themselves, okay, and something that they did, all right? But this person is confident. Um, there's an energy of this person wants to, um, they're also very attractive um, or attracted to you. Under the deck, you have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person, and Temperance here, this person wants forgiveness. Yeah, this person wants forgiveness. They are sorry for whatever it was that they did, but they are just in a at a period where they are miserable without you, and they want you to forgive them. Tell me about this hermit and the Queen of Wands, please. And we have the Four of Cups. Yeah, you've separated from this person. Underneath the deck, the high priestess, you're currently not speaking to this person or the two of you are not talking right now. Um, and this person is feeling some type of way with that five of cups here. They are very, very upset and hurt. Tell me about the nine of cups and temperance. And look, we have the page of pentacles. This person wants you to accept their apology um, they're coming in with the message that they want forgiveness here and they can't sleep without you. Nine of swords under the deck. This person cannot sleep at night without you. They are missing you, Cancer. So if you're dealing with the Virgo, whatever they said, whatever they did, they didn't mean it. They're sorry and they're coming back. All right, moving on to Capricorn at 5151. All right, Cancers and Capricorn. All right, so let's see what you can't see coming towards you. Holy Spirit, angels and guys, tell me about Cancer and Capricorn, please. What does Cancer not see coming towards them with this Capricorn? Uh-oh, that went in the reverse. We have girl talk in the reverse. Time with friends, moving on happily single, living in the moment and having fun. So there's an energy of, you know, I feel like there's someone who is maybe recently out of a relationship um, with someone and rather than taking that time out or spending time with friends, I feel like there's an energy of this person is having a, a very difficult time moving on. Okay, this is somebody who's not wanting to talk. They're not wanting to go out. They're just wanting to sit in the house. They're very, very kind of within drawn with withdrawn. Okay, and in their inner shell here. All right, under the deck, self indulgence, focus on self. I told you, time to heal. Shadow work, self appreciation, self worth. See. This is somebody who is not wanting to talk to anybody. They're shutting out the outside world. They've gone through a difficult breakup with someone and they are not wanting to talk about this with friends or with anybody. They just want to be by themselves. Tell me about Cancer and Capricorn, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about Cancer and Capricorn, please. Finding out the truth crushed me. See, I feel like whatever the situation was with this breakup, you know, I feel like you're in an energy of you just don't want to talk to other people about it. You really just want to kind of remain in, you know, your own mind about things. You want to kind of deal with things and, you know, I don't know, kind of look at things and realize where you stood in the situation, kind of come to terms with it first and then deal with others. You know what I mean? You're very hurt by what happened. And it's probably embarrassing. Under the deck, I am afraid to contact you. I know that I crossed the line with you. So there's an energy of this person knows, what, whoever this Capricorn is, they know that what they did, it was extremely embarrassing. And they're to the point where they, they want to, but they don't even want to reach out to you. Whatever it was, it obviously was very embarrassing. They know they crossed the line. You're not speaking to them, but you're also not wanting to talk to anybody. Okay, so in two cards, tell me about Cancer and Capricorn. Wow. 
Holy Spirit. Okay, there we go. So we have the Six of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. See, this is something very public, okay? Something very public. And with that Three of Pentacles, this is an energy of someone who's wanting to fix things or wanting to um, want someone to talk to a third party, maybe go speak to someone. You may have friends that may want you to go and talk to someone, but there's an energy of not wanting to talk to anybody. You just want to kind of deal with things on your own. Um, whatever this was, it's like it was humiliating for you. It, it affected your ego. Under the deck, we have the Two of Swords and the Page of Wands. You saw something or whatever it was, there was an energy of you cut someone out or something ended or someone left. And with that page of wands, again, this is an energy of someone was very immature or this person left very, very quickly. But there's an energy of someone left and they cut you out of the picture. So it's like you feel really, really, really scorned right now is what's taking place. Tell me about the Six of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about this. And we have the Emperor here. This may have been someone that you were married to or in a committed connection with. Maybe you were going to marry this person. And I feel like if this person fell through with the Eight of Swords, like you no longer are seeing or talking to this person, but there's an energy of you just wanting to shut other people out. You don't want people in your business, okay? With the tower, yeah. Yep, you don't want people to know what took place with that king of swords. I feel like you are very hurt. This person may have come in and may have left in a very nasty way. Okay, tell me about this two of swords and the page of wands, please. Like you feel like this person just cut and run. Look, five of pentacles, see? This person just left you out in the cold. There's an energy of being very embarrassed. Like this is a very open situation. Friends, family, other people can obviously see what's taking place in your connection. And they know that it was because this person, you know, they left. This person did something where they cut you out. And with that three of wands, I feel like you may have been a third party here. King of Swords, see? And the Seven of Cups, this person kept their options open. With the Two of Cups, this was someone that you were in a very committed relationship with. with. The Three of Swords, this person hurt you, they betrayed you, they cheated on you, and everybody can see it with the star. There's an energy of everyone can see it. And it's very embarrassing for you. All right, moving on to Fire Signs at 58. 15, Aries. All right, Cancer, what do you not see coming towards you with Aries? Tell me about Cancer and Aries. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me, okay. And we have the butterfly in the reverse. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So someone is not growing or someone has not evolved. There's an energy of you may be in a relationship with another Aries and, you know, you may be changing or evolving and this person is just kind of staying the same, staying stagnant under the deck, healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. See, I feel like there may be an energy of you and this person may have both been in an energy where you did the same thing that was toxic, but you have grown from that. You are no longer in that situation. You've cut that off. You've ended that relationship with that toxicity. Could have been drugs, could have been drinking, whatever it was. You're now on a path of healing and change, but this person is not. They are staying the same. Tell me about Cancer and Aries, please. I may make this public, you guys, and give you guys another free extended. I love y'all. 
I love y'all so much. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. How about that? Share your love back with me. <laughs> All right. I left you before you could leave me. Let me set up my card here. I left you before you could leave me. See, I feel again, this person knew that they were in a very toxic connection with someone who was very addictive. It could have been someone who was addictive to being in third party connections. And, you know, you just knew better. This was like a devil energy here. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I feel like you're not, it's not easy. I feel like it was hard for you. You do care about this person, but you realize that it was a toxic situation and you did what was best for you. Okay. All right. Tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, give me two cards for cancer and Aries. What does cancer not see coming for this Aries? Okay. These two cards came out. So look, nine of wands and the nine of swords. Two nines, this talks about someone being content with the situation and with that nine of wands here, you know, this is a situation that you put a lot of work in. You stayed, you did what was best. You did what was right for the longest you held it out. But with that nine of swords, you just cannot sleep at night. You know that this connection is not one that's helped. Um, delay, 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 delay. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. That was my mom. I had to answer that. So um, underneath the deck, we have the Ace of Swords and the Two of Pentacles here. It's like you know the truth. With that Two of Pentacles, there's an energy of going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Second guessing or going back and forth. Um, but the truth is, is like you're going to deal with this. This is an energy of you are dealing with this problem with honesty. You're being true to yourself. You're not going to, you know, pretend or anything like that. You're letting this person know that you're you're done. You're no longer content being in a situation or you're no longer content with the way that things are. It's toxic and you have got to go, okay? Tell me about the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords, please. Looks good, interesting. And we have the Two of Wands. See, this is you going back and forth, playing it safe, not wanting to hurt anybody's feelings. And I feel like you're no longer in that energy. You are now doing what's best for you. Judgment under the deck. See, you are ha you have awakened. You have awakened. You are the butterfly that is spreading their wings. This person is still in in the cocoon. Do you understand? Taking a nap, a twelve hour nap. You know what I'm saying? They're not growing. They're not changing. They're not ascending. But you have cancer. So it's time for you to move on. Five of Swords. Do you see what I'm saying? There, it's a conflict. For you to continue being in this person's energy or around this person okay tell me about the ace of swords and the two of pentacles it's like you know you're going to slowly but surely move away from this person knight of look knight of pentacles i told you this is going to take you some time i feel like you're kind of building up your confidence this was a very toxic situation. I feel like we have two people that are addictive or one person that is still in their addiction. It is hard, you know, for the other person to break away. But with the five of cups, look, this is not working for you. <laughs> this is no longer working for you. It's no longer beneficial for you. You know, things didn't go the way that you expected. And then it's time to move on, Aries or Cancer. All right, moving on to Sagittarius at 104.39. Cancer is dealing with a Sagittarius. What do you not see coming towards you? 
I am going to make this public. This is going to be uh, Cancer versus all 12 signs, okay? And this is a free extended from the collective message from earlier. I hope you guys enjoyed the message. Part one of the message is uh, another message on YouTube on the playlist. Please go check that out if you missed it. Please go check out the other messages on my playlist. All my readings are timeless. All right. So Cancer and Sagittarius. So you have mask in the reverse. Okay, not showing true feelings, hide, personality, pretend, delude, gaslighting. So somebody's mask is going to come off here. Or you're going to see the truth in someone or someone is literally going to take the mask off. Someone is going to let you know the truth. Okay, they're no longer going to hide. Heart with the key, welcoming love. Okay. Meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together and perfect. Okay. So there's a Sagittarius going to be, oh, we got a delay. There's a Sagittarius that's going to be letting you know their feelings. Answer. Someone has been keeping their true feelings to themselves or hiding behind a mask. Well, they're going to take it off and they're going to let you know how they feel. I wonder if you are happy without me. Hmm. So this may be somebody that you are not close to or not, you, you know, around. You may not live close to this person. Maybe this person went off to school and, you know, I'm just feeling an energy of this person went somewhere else or you both went your separate ways and they're wondering how you feel. And this person may tell you, you may have just been friends with this person, but I feel like this person actually had feelings for you. And now they're going to reach out to you under the deck. My life is not together as it seems. You see what I'm saying? There's an energy of this person. They're, they're miserable without you. This person was in love with you. You left. You thought this person was just, you know, thought of you as a friend. But no, this person had more feelings. So something happened where two people went different directions. Maybe you started dating someone because you thought this person didn't like you. And then afterwards, now you're going to realize that they do. I don't know. Tell me about Cancer and Sagittarius. That's interesting that I said that. Oh, my God. You got the star. Sagittarius, that is you. <laughs> Sagittarius energy here. And then you have the Six of Pentacles and the Page cups I told you this is an energy where one person had feelings and the other person didn't know and I feel like this person is coming in with the hope that you will like them too <laughs> this is cute under the deck you have justice look at this number 11 truth truth this person is coming in on being honest with the nine of pentacles. Listen, this is someone who is pre-empress energy. This is somebody who you think is single and happy. And they're telling you, my life is not as together as it seems. I am not that happy since you've been gone. This person is coming to let you know, I am sorry, but since you've left, I have been miserable. I miss you. I want you. I want you to be mine. You are my soulmate, number 11, heart with the key. This person is coming in, letting you know that you are the one. How beautiful is that? Tell me about the star and the six of pentacles, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about the star and the six of pentacles. Justice, look, again, you got justice twice. This person wants to come in and right a wrong. They feel as though, you know, they deserve you. You. They feel like you deserve, they deserve to have you, okay? Um, this person is coming in being honest. They're going to tell you how they feel. Things have been one-sided all this time, but they really want you to know their true feelings. Three of Pentacles, they want you to, you know, work with them. They want you to, you know, they want to get together with you, basically, okay? <laughs> And they want you to work it out with them. Tell me about the justice and the nine of pentacles, please. Tell me about justice and the nine of pentacles. Oh, we got two. The wheel of fortune and the seven of wands. Wow. So there's an energy of this 
person is coming in like very quickly and I feel like you may be a little guarded or it's just going to take you for a loop. I feel like when this person comes in, because like I said, you're single, happy. You thought this person was single and happy, but they're not. It's really going to shock you here. Three of cups under the deck. Yeah, this person is coming in wanting to take you out. They're wanting to, you know, date you, take you out on a date. And it's going to be a little bit surprising for you, but I think this is going to be good news for you. I think you want to hear this. Okay. We got, we got justice twice. So again, I feel like this is something that's meant to be. So this is beautiful. Two friends getting together. Okay. And like I said, I feel like this is an energy of karma. And with the star card, I feel like this person has always wanted you. They just were afraid and didn't know how to come towards you. Six of Pentacles, Page of Cups. They didn't know they were in their head. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Moving on to Leo. Last but not least, Leo. One minute, 11, sec 11 seconds. No, one hour, 11 minutes. And we'll make it 11 seconds. One, 11, 11. All right, Leo. This is definitely a beautiful twin flame reading here. And Leo, let's find out. I'm just calling it into existence. Tell me about Leo, please. What does Leo not see coming towards them? That was beautiful for Sagittarius, too. You guys, that was a beautiful reading. I would like to do... I said Cancer and Capricorn earlier in the week, and I definitely want to do Cancer and Sagittarius. Tell me about Cancer and Leo, please. What does Cancer and Nazi coming towards them? So we have I Like You. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting want to date. Underneath the deck, we have ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for a union. So I feel like there's an energy of someone who is coming in and telling this person that they like them, but with ascending, I feel like they may find out that this person is about to be getting married or is already in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, who is starting something new with someone. So this is going to be rough here. <laughs> this is going to be rough here, Leo. Oh, my God. So and if this is a twin flame karmic, this is definitely a, a runner and a chaser. And you're at the chasing point right now. So let's just see. Tell me about, can whoa, okay, I'm not taking all of that. Tell me about Cancer and Leo. What do you not see coming with this Leo, please? Okay. I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah, I feel like there's an energy of this is someone that you've liked a long time or you've always liked this person, but you never told them. And I feel like when you go in to let them know, you're going to find out that, you know, now they are starting to date someone else. You were the best thing in my life. I feel you leaving me behind. Oh, my God. Look at this. So I feel like this person was crazy about you, but they failed to share their feelings. Or you were crazy about this person and you didn't open up to them. And now that you're coming in and telling them this, it's too late. Tell me about Cancer and Leo. Mm, this is hard. Tell me about Cancer and Leo. Wow, look at that. So the sun and the four of pentacles, wow. Look, this talks about someone who's building up the confidence, coming in, telling someone the truth or sharing, you know, spilling their guts to someone, basically. Um, with the four pentacles, they have held back from telling this person this for a long time, okay? Because, they again, they were just really in their feelings or just being very guarded, you know, protecting their heart. Under the deck with the page of swords and the page of wands, I feel like this person is going to get a message and they're going to find out 
that this person is already seeing someone else or they're dating someone else. And you may find out on social media, you may be looking at this person's uh, Facebook page or Instagram and you may see an, a message or, an, you know, some sort of post that this person is saying, I'm getting married or, you know, or I met someone and you're going to feel like a, a gut punch. You're going to feel a gut punch, Leo or Cancer. Tell me about the sun and the four pentacles. It's like you held back from telling the this person the truth though tell me about cancer and leo okay so we got the ace of pentacles and the king of cups yeah there's an energy of you know this was you had an opportunity to tell this person how you felt but instead you didn't you hid your emotions with the king of cups this is someone who is very in control of their emotions and with the five of swords under the deck now there's an energy of there's a conflict you know what I'm saying? Now this person has moved on, okay? And, um, or this is also somebody who is in their head, okay? Okay, playing mind games, not really saying what they really felt. Tell me about the Page of Swords and the Page of Wands, please. Oh, wow. And you got Temperance in the reverse. So there is an energy of, you know, really, this is an energy of all or nothing. This is somebody who is, um, it's an energy of feeling like very extreme, like someone is being excessive or you feel like someone is like, almost like they're moving too quickly, you know, like they didn't give you a chance or they're not waiting for you. Okay. Um, yeah, with the devil under the deck, there's an energy of someone is moving very quickly and almost as though, you know, there's an energy of you're afraid that this person is just kind of going too fast, okay? And you didn't have an opportunity. You're feeling like you didn't have a chance to share your feelings with this Leo. All right, so I'm sorry, Cancers, or I'm sorry, Leo, if that's you. But this message has been beautiful. All right. Thank you so much. I will be doing more Cancers versus all 12 using the Oracle like this. I really, really did like the setup. That's why I made this a free extended. I want you guys to let me know how you like it. And we'll do more of these in the future. And I love you guys so much. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye.